But when we think about the vertical profile of the temperature profile of the Earth, we have something like the following. We'll make a plot of temperature versus height. And one of the first things we notice is that, that um, at the ground we have a certain temperature. And as we increase in height, that temperature decreases. And it decreases up to a point, and that point is what's called the tropopause. Below that point is called the troposphere. The troposphere. At the tropopause, the temperature doesn't get colder anymore. It stays the same. It might warm up a little bit, and then and then and then it and then it warms up with height. This area is what's called the stratosphere. And then eventually in the upper stratosphere, the temperature starts going down again. And this section here, the point where that changes, is what's called the stratopause. Okay, so these are the different areas of, of the atmosphere in terms of temperature. All of the weather that we experience happens in the troposphere, happens down, down here. We'll find out that, that this change from kind of cooling with height to warming with height or, or static um, yields stability. So, so, so at this point, we're going to see that this is real stability, and that actually caps the, caps the weather. Now we can ask the question, why is it this way? What, what causes this particular, what particular structure? So essentially what we have is the following. In order for it to be warmer at the surface and cooler at the bottom, energy needs to be uh, warming the surface and not warming the, the, uh, the troposphere. And that energy is coming from the sun. So the, the sun's energy comes in, it goes through the atmosphere nearly unimpeded, warms up the ground, the ground then warms up the ground, the air next to it, and that air next to it, and so on, and the, the heat kind of slowly percolates up a little bit, but the, uh, um, but uh, it doesn't uh, uh, warm up very efficiently, you know, the upper part of the troposphere, so we get this cooling with, uh, uh, with, with, with height. If that argument is, 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 uh, is correct, then, then we must have in the stratosphere some kind of energy input uh, in order for it to get warmer again, and in fact we do. So in the stratosphere we have um, a, a substance called ozone, and all ozone is is a form of oxygen. And, but it's a particular form that happens to absorb ultraviolet light. And part of the sunlight coming in is ultraviolet, so some of that sunlight gets absorbed. When it gets absorbed, it warms up the air, and it warms up the air in the stratosphere, and that warms it up uh, up here. And then eventually, uh, um, uh, the, you get far enough away from the heat source, and it's going to get, get colder again. So. Um, so this is the this is the reason why so you know things are warmer on the ground you climb to mount everest it's cold at the top um and it also will lead to why the uh, um uh, thunderstorms uh don't ever go above the uh the the tropopause um uh, because of the because of the stability and it it uh gives a reason why we have um uh, a little less U UV radiation striking the surface. It's getting absorbed by the ozone, and it, it tells us why if we get rid of the ozone, we have a problem in terms of both uh, the UV radiation, but also it, can it could affect the intensity of thunderstorms as well.